today was the uh, 2019 MTV Movie and TV Awards. Yes. Unfortunately, you couldn't make it. Yes. You did win an award, though. It's the, the popcorn bucket trophy. Ah, yes, very you good, the old gold sick, popcorn. Sickest mullet. Ah, very good, sickest mullet, everyone. Now let's talk about um, season three. Yep. We go back to Hawkins and everyone is horned up. Yep. Was that a nice sort of transition from like a very dark mood in season two? It gets a lot darker this season. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the first episode is great because it's an indicator of like, here's where we picked up. Here's the kind of cheesy factor, the shirtless with the mums, which is great because it takes such a turn by the end of episode one into something much darker. And that's sort of reflective of the rest of the season, which is fantastic. Was it kind of nice to dip into a little bit more of that comedic side of your role in that first episode. Like, yeah, it was. See the moms are like hot for you. It was, like, kind it was of so much fun, you know, we just muck around and kind of ham it up. Yeah. You know, I love it. And it's so good because the gratification of the following seven episodes that are so dark and so creatively fulfilling. It's amazing that I have that after the episode one where we did get to ham it up. Just so we both get kind of killed in the middle of the night by Netflix executives, what can you tell us about about your character, what we can expect uh, in season three. Billy gets really dark, but there's an amazing payoff. The last scene in episode eight, which I'm really excited for everyone to see. Billy, he isn't exactly the nicest character, but you seem like a really nice person. I hope so. Is that hard to, to shed? Billy when the, the cameras stop rolling. I feel like you put yourself in a position where you're representing something that you've seen in your life or that you've heard or blah 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 and when you leave set you just kind of drop it and you can't bring that character home. So I think, you know, I, I would hope that I'm really good at mentally just shedding that kind of weight of the day. It's the same as when you work 16 hours a day and you just shed it and you go home. You're on one of the biggest shows in the world now. Do people treat you differently or can you still go to the servo? And... Yeah, I think, I mean, there's a huge level of normalcy here. I'd actually just clarify, I live here. I was just trying to are very chilled out about this stuff. That's why I like sort of being here. So the servo is a relaxing time for me, you know? Some of the cast members uh, from Stranger Things were on the red carpet for the MTV yep. Movie Awards. And they said that they think that this show can kind of wrap up in the next one to two, that everything's gonna be tied up. Do you agree with that? Do you think that's gonna happen or do you think there's a bit more longevity? I think the Duffer's mission is to not stretch it out so goddamn long. Yeah that we're just watching replications of a scene that happened two seasons ago. So that everything in there is fully fleshed out. It's nice to wrap it up in a really good way. I hopefully just go out with like a hundred mullets. Yeah, that would be totally. Yeah, hundred mullets. <laughs>